Guys, how's it going? This is Enrique here for Easy Things to Draw. And before I answer this question, let me make one announcement. Number one, um, enter the Kaiju Art Contest. It's going to be up in a few days, and we only have a few people that entered. So uh, send me your entries at Omega Man 20. The whole point is to design your own Kaiju, and we judge it. The best one, the uh, winner per se, uh, gets $50 and an armadillo wristband. And uh, just for drawing a monster. So enter that as soon as possible. Here's the link to that video. So let me answer this question really quick. And I'm sorry for the crappy setup. I'm just recording this off my iPhone. I'm talking to you pretty candidly. Uh, I wanted to set something up, but I didn't. So the question is, you know, do you need art school? And this is a real serious thing because this question comes to me more than any other question at all. You know, I have any question I get, this comes up the most. So I'm just going to give you a candid answer. And this is just my opinion. This is not like an end all be all answer. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, take this for what it's worth. This is just my opinion. And that is it. Um, so I, my answer would be depends. It really depends. Uh, the best guys I've seen have been trained. You know what I mean? But it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Let me give you an example. Like when I when I started as a, um, I started drawing at 18. You know what I'm saying? I didn't enter art school until I was 19. I didn't draw a thing before I was 18 at all. I didn't draw. I didn't like it. I wanted to draw because I wanted to do 3D really well, 3D animation for movies. And I was like, yeah, this is awesome. So what they told me was that your ability to draw directly reflects in how good your CG is. So what I did was I said, okay, I'll learn to draw. So I ended up going to a tiny instructional art school here in San Diego. And that's where I learned to draw. And when I started learning to draw, I just liked it way better than 3D. And um, about 21, you know what I mean? About 21, I started working in art. You know what I mean? Just doing freelance jobs all over the internet and stuff like that. Uh, then I got a job at SeaWorld doing caricature art. You know what I'm saying? Where you do those, those funny cartoons in, uh, in a theme park. I did that for a few years. I worked at a, a studio, a movie studio down over in um, kind of between LA and uh, San Diego. I worked there for a few years and um, you know what I mean? I, I worked for a bunch of different companies after that. And so I would say for me, school was absolutely necessary because I didn't know how to draw. I didn't start when I was a kid. I didn't start when I was five. Some of you guys started when they're like freaking five years old, right? I didn't do that. So I, I needed school. In my case, school made me a lot. Uh, uh, you know, that's how I learned school. And um, there's a few, couple of different things about that. Um, here, here's a few opinions I have. Number one, I think it's almost better to start late. You know what I mean? I think it's almost better to start older because you don't ingrain a lot of bad habits. Sometimes when people self-teach themselves, they tend to uh, do things over and over and over again, right? But sometimes they, without an instructor there, they might be doing the wrong things over and over and over again. You know what I mean? So sometimes they'll ingrain these really awful habits. Like I have a good friend of mine who's self-taught and he he does everything amazing. He's such an amazing artist, but his hands, when he draws hands, when he draws hands and feet, they look weird, they look like sausages. He never actually went through a formal anything to teach him how to draw hands. You know, granted though he's older, he didn't have the internet to to kind of like uh, teach him how to do this. So you know, it's a little bit different now with tutorials online all over the place. You know, that would be uh, a little bit different. So my recommendation, I mean, my my perfect scenario would be honestly like a school where or or if you okay, let's just say you you can't let's say you don't you don't live anywhere near a school, you got nothing, right? I'm lucky. I'm in San Diego. There's a couple of tiny art schools here. There's LA, which is very close to me. There's Art Center, which I went to. That's a giant art school. Awesome, awesome, amazing art school. They they produce so many guys in the industry. And I was really lucky to live by one of those schools. But if you don't, let's say you live out in the middle of the country and you got nothing. You got the internet. Okay, that's good. And um, that's great to learn from. Teach yourself. You know, practice like crazy. But I would say when you're practicing like crazy, don't worry that you're going to ingrain, you know, bad habits. I, you know, even though I just said that, I'm kind of contradicting myself, but you know, you got to practice. 
When you do this, I would say you need to maybe have somebody online that's better than you. You got to kick it with somebody that's better than you. I mean, not kick it. You, you got to have a connection to someone on the internet that, that is a little bit better than you. Can, they can be a little bit better than you or they can be way better than you or whatever. Just as long as somebody's on that same road you are, but, you know, so they can see what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? They can see what you're doing and what you're trying to do and ask them for their feedback. And you got to search out this person. That's the thing. It could be... It could be hard because some guys are good artists, but they don't know what the how the hell to to say it. I mean, that was me for a long time, and I'm still struggling with that, you know. Um, and then some guys are great critiquers. They kind of draw, but they they critique great. You know, there's art, uh, artists like Marshall Vandruff in L.A. You know, he doesn't he draws all right, but he's an amazing critique critiquer. I don't know if you say it like that. You know, he's an amazing teacher, and he produces a lot of big uh, illustrators. So. Definitely um, a big deal would be learn from all these tutorials, learn from different guys, you know, but like I'm saying, you got, I think you really need someone to critique your work who's better than you, you know? Also, you know, sometimes ask regular people, regular people, even though they don't, they can't tell you what's wrong with it. They can tell you that it looks weird, you know, like, and it pisses me off, you know, all of this stuff, it takes a shot at your ego, all of it. Um, I would say like a brief thing would be like, I draw something, I remember drawing something and my sister was like, that looks weird. And I'm like, why, do you, why does it look weird? And she's like, I don't know. I don't know, it just looks weird. And that, that answer, right, pisses me off. <laughs> you know, you're gonna tell me there's something wrong with it, but, you can't, you, but like, I'm like, you can't do it, you know? But you know, and you, you can't even tell me what's wrong with it, you know? It, it pisses me off because it hits my ego. You know, I just gotta let that shit go. I'm just like, okay, now I gotta, okay. If she thinks it's wrong, she doesn't know anything about art, you know, maybe there's something up with it. You know, I got to look at it, you know, honestly. Being honest is such a big deal, you know. That's the only way you're going to get better is to be honest with yourself. And the other one is, um, there's another experience I had where I was already pretty novice, pretty advanced-ish. And I went to a convention with a bunch of awesome artists, right? And uh, in line, we were standing there, and there was an artist I so admired that I've been following on the internet forever. And I showed him my portfolio, and he gave me this critique that blew my mind. I don't remember what he said. He just said like, uh, he essentially told me that I drew well, but that my ideas sucked. You know what I mean? Like, like how I was designing my characters really sucked. And that hurt me so bad. <laughs> that hurt my ego so bad, dude. But it was what I needed. You know what I'm saying? It was, it, it, all these things are good for you. You know what I mean? You don't just get crushed by them. You're like, okay, this guy thinks I'm doing that wrong. Evaluate it in your own mind. Am I doing this wrong? Am I? Or why am I not where this guy is? Really take an honest look at it. You know what I mean? And then, and then kind of, you know, digest a little bit. And then you, then you go over and now you say to yourself, how are you going to solve this? Right? And then you try to solve it. You work on it for a long, long, long time. And then maybe you go back on the internet and maybe ask for feedback on some guys that know what the hell they're talking about. And say, hey as well as they can get it, you know, as well as they can give feedback, you know what I mean? And by the way, be careful. There are a lot of douchebags out there, so don't let anybody crush your, you know. I don't know. Actually, almost every artist I've met has been pretty nice, so. Um, you know, I mean, people like giving out advice, I think. I think once you hit a certain point in art, you know, you, you really enjoy it. So anyways, guys, to, to sorry about that. That was a long ramble. It's probably one of my longer videos, honestly, uh, on just me talking. But um, that's my honest opinion. My opinion is, uh, you know, to sum it up, go to, I would say school is better. That would be, if that was, if I had to pick one or the other, I would say school is better, depending on your situation, could be better. You know, it's good to be instructed, you know. It's good to not have an ego, you know, that's another thing. It's good to be around people that are better than you. That's so good. And um, I would say definitely find a school. If you can't find a school, find someone online who's better than you. Get their advice. Keep watching tutorials. You know, everybody's, mine, other people's, you know what I mean? I'm so glad you guys are supporting me, you know, but, you know, there, there's so many, there's so many good artists out there that give out great advice, so just seek them out, you know, bookmark them, and, and um, oh, draw every single day, <laughs> every single day, make it, uh, sorry, one last thing, I know, I know I'm talking too long, but carry a sketchbook with you at all times, that's something I learned, you, that's your part of your identity, you are an artist, you're, not, you're getting better all the time. If you have a weakness, you work on it. You know, you, it's like your your bodybuilder, right? If you're a bodybuilder and let's say your your pectoralis, you know, your pecs are too small, you start working out your pecs, right? Uh, same thing with art. 
you do an art, you do everything good, but let's say your backgrounds suck, you start working on your backgrounds hardcore. Attack your weaknesses, okay guys? That's it. Peace out, and I'll see you guys later.